Good evening, everybody. This is David slash Asher. Joining me, of course, is Fates. Hey, y'all. Uh, Magamitas. Hello. And MPX. No, it is not. <laughs> no? I sense shenanigans occurring. Probably. No, I started the sentence, but you didn't hear it. It should be obvious. Uh, uh, definitely not hearing it. Excuse you? Yeah. Okay. But uh, tonight we're going to be trying to finish off uh, Tunic here. Hooray. And if people are, and if people are going, uh, so are you going to do both endings? No, no, I'm only going to do one ending for everybody. Why? Mostly just because of the fact that it's like, I feel like if people want to find out about a game, go play it. I mean, we've already spoiled all the all the secret pieces. We've okay. already figured everything out on stream. Yeah. It's just the fact that it's like, I kind of want to leave some things, because there are actually still a few things I haven't done, like, secret, uh, like, a good chunk of the secret treasures, apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, there's still probably more golden cross doors too that we haven't gotten maybe a couple not a lot uh, and if people are going like well so how much do I have A good amount, but not enough. Decent amount. I'm just looking at the glims, going like... Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out where the... It's been quite a decent amount of time since I sat down and played this, going like, where is the nearest teleport pad that I'd probably want? House. 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 There's one from here should be the old house. Wait a minute, when did these kids like come back? I cut these down. I don't know. Maybe you've gone through so many day night cycles that the trees have added that the uh, the earth is healing. I mean like I know there was a uh, update to the game, but that was to coincide with some of the uh, changes that they made for uh, the Switch slash PlayStation release as well. Including a uh, easier combat. And I'm like, easier oh. combat? Easier combat? It's like, Does that mean that this is going to be a short stream because you're going to go and one shot uh, the air? No, God, no. I'm not going to do that. God. Ugh. But, alright, uh... Well, you said you're doing the basic ending. So the basic ending is killing the air. Killing the air without... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey. Don't forget your nest quick.
part of a well I wouldn't say well balanced breakfast. Part of a living through uh, longer in this fight. Oh, yeah. Ow. Yeah, we determined that um Ow. <laughs> the health potions in tunic are strawberry nest quick and the mana potions when you switch them over are blueberry nest quick. Yes. Well, I was saying strawberry milk, but... Well, same concept. Yeah. Strawberry milk, blueberry milk, strawberry Nesquik, blueberry Nesquik. It's essentially the same idea. Hmm. No! <laughs> Ow. Why'd I dodge straight into it? And we do know that this is a two-layer fight. Mm-hmm. Admittedly, I have not been using my magic. But... I'm gonna see what Grandpa has in terms of items. 
Uh, last time we checked, nothing interesting, but that's neither here nor there. I mean, nothing really worth technically buying except for consumables, which at this point... Bam. Bams. Fruitsels. Decoys. And herb. I'm gonna get a and bunch herb. of... Herb. Herb. Well, it's ivy, but I, I'm... Okay, so it's one... Herb. <laughs> okay, so... A hundred per... Like, healy fruit. You're just gonna stash, uh, stash a ton of uh, berry? I'm gonna have a stash of berries and use that instead for a bit. And I'm going to see what the herb technically did, herb, ivy does. Herb. Herb. I mean, knowing my luck, like, the final boss is super susceptible to freaking parries. I mean, it's the final boss. It shouldn't be super susceptible to literally anything. Yeah. Because we otherwise would kind of diminish its position as the final boss. Well, remember how bad Gwyn was... Uh, Gwyn was to freaking parrying. In Dark Souls 1. Sure, because he owns him and they were good at parrying. It's like, if you were super good at parrying, you'd fucking beat the living shit out of Gwen. I mean, I guess some some final bosses you do, uh, some final bosses you do have, like, um, gimmicks that you have to deal with to get them, I guess. Like, imagine having a final boss that can only be defeated to the Tower of Prayer. Oh. Yes, I know what I said. It's funny, remember like a month ago when we thought that uh, this was rescuing Mama and that was going to make the game all better? Guessing things have changed. Well, yeah, it turned out that it wasn't Mama. Uh, Eric would like to point out, I need to retry this on easier combat since I can't seem to win that on normal. Also, whatever the hell you did to chat, it is definitely harder to read than it used to okay. be. Okay. 
No, 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 let me go, let me go. The intention was for... And then Eric also said now that they made it, and now that they added that option. Yeah. Meaning the easier combat option. down I think oh looks like it oh hello So I feel it's necessary to point out that you went through 15 of your 16 berries and 6 of your 7 potions. Yes. Get to that point. And the fact is that corruption on hit is not something I can block with the mask. No. Our Eric has added, also, in case you're wondering, I think I'm healing nicely. Ah, nice to hear. I'm wondering and if... Yes, it is very good to hear. I'm glad to hear that you're healing nicely. Uh, well, time to try and do some experimental stuff, like... Given the first fight, let's see how well parrying works. said, oh, can I tell you one thing, hidden thing you might like now that you're at the end? Uh, I'd say sure at this point since we're going to go try and defeat the boss, but. We're trying to make this the final episode. Yeah. He said, there's a hidden room right uh, near right here where you can customize your fox's colors. I think I showed that off last time we did this, but... Did you? I don't remember seeing that. Uh, this was, like, after you had, uh... Let's see. Oh, I had, I had dropped off for the night? No, uh, like, you hadn't sh c uh, come in yet. come in yet. Like, there was like a half hour you didn't come in. Just so I can show it to Michael, here it is. Boop! Most easiest one to show it off with. Yep. Eric said, ah, oh, yeah, cool, yep, that's the room. It's silly. 
truly a red fox. Pink fox. Blue fox. Green. Blue, yes. Nope, nope, but go back, go back. Blue. Yellow. Uh, Eric said, what is the left uh, leftmost hidden room change? I forget. Leftmost? Okay, let's take a good look at our character currently. So, do, 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 just... Everybody got a good idea what the colors look like? Mm, decently. Figured it I, out. I'm not really seeing it. It's, I believe, his hands and uh, feet and nose. So basically, his boots and nose. Let me see if I can find an outrageous color. There we go. That makes it it's super obvious. Okay, yeah. Bell resets. go into this fight with the full intention of just seeing how well the parry works and how bad I am at it. So, Eric, I'm not sure if, if depending on what you're viewing on, if it might be harder to see, but we did try it out, and it was like the nose and the boots. And I think you said the gloves as well, but I yes. couldn't see that one. Yeah. But, but yeah, I can see the nose and boots. left corner of the room. Oh! Apparently there's a fifth hidden screen. Oop. Oh, wow! So apparently parry is the correct answer. Parry is... Provided you can do it. If provided I can do it. Yeah, no, literally Eric just said, but yes, the parry is godlike if you can get it down. Okay, so there's a fifth screen. Uh, I guess I could go back. So, yeah, no, that would be... He said it's in the left corner okay. of the room. Well, let's get that taken care of real quick. Starber, starber. Hmm? Starber. Oh, stabby, stabby. Starber, starber, starber. The one reason why I say, like, trying it on the final boss is kind of probably going to be easier is because of the fact of, like, as we saw, it was, like, quite literally just swing. Like, almost... Yeah, there's a lot of telegraph to those moves. 
And given the fact that the parry is quite literally... Wah. in the oh. corner. Okay. Oh, you found it. So let's see what this does. Oh, I see what it does. Let me just... There we Did go. Did it change the color of the tunic, maybe? No! Let me... There we go. Nice little tuft. It changes his hair tuft. Yep. Just that little hair tuft. That is incredibly adorable. Are you really gonna bell that out? Yes. That was that, that was pretty. Good to see if okay. There's no other. I mean, we could go with monster colors, but huh. <sighs> But yeah, to put it in perspective, um, so you you see how big the enemy HP bars are, right? Mm -hmm. Like just the the little trash enemies. Yeah. When someone puts something in chat, the chat bar, the entire bar where their text is written, is the height of that. Ah, uh, so I need to do some shenagling. I mean, obviously, not necessarily right now, but yeah. Yeah. It, th further, this... uh, further, in, uh, further uh, enhance, enhancement will be required. Yes. But is it readable? Honestly. Maybe? It's literally illegible. Oh. This is text for ants. Ah. Uh, what is text? Ants? Uh, let's see. Uh, Eric said, it's amusing. I actually couldn't figure out what this room was when I found uh, doing when I found it. Uh, I think I was dead when I found it and got my body back after, so I thought my fox being gray was a side effect of reviving. <laughs> reviving him uh, actually made him a silver fox, eh, hey, Eric? Uh, Eric said, yep, thought it meant I became an angel fox or something, which was pretty cool, no lie. Okay. Yeah, it's like almost illegible on my phone, which I've been using to watch the stream. Uh, I'm literally watching on my PS4 on my TV. Okay. And it is literally illegible on the screen. Ah, nope, nope. 
Okay. Uh, I can fix the look of it, because I've just invis the normal stream stuff, so... Just pop that back in. So. Oh, so just swap it back to the regular one for now? Yeah, swap it back to the regular one if it's that. Yep, there we go. I, that I see. And that's super readable. And relatively high contrast, considering there's a lot of cool tones in the background. I thought it said something else. Why you always gotta make fun of me? Uh, Eric said, what's neat about the parody? You can parry anything, I think. Whoa, there we go. Nice spicy parry. And he said, combining it with the stopwatch can let you experiment with pairing things that are too fast to react automatic normally. <sighs> there we go. We are in phase two. We're starting to get we're starting to get some progress here. We're starting to get some progress here. Oh, hello. Ah, okay. <laughs> the sword of corruption. Okay, parry him on that one. Your soul. I know, but it, it's one of those things of like, okay. <sighs> there it is, you filthy casual. I'm trying to. <laughs> huh. Okay, in that case, like, fruit, fruit's useless to me at this point. I think... Uh, Ivy. I mean, part of the problem is that fruit is weaker than potions. I think it's about the strength of a normal potion. Yeah. I think Ivy may be helpful. Also, why do I only have, like, two out of the three... Metals? Yeah. yeah. What's up with that? I uh, see. Um... Eric said, I gave Fairs 2 a fair try. Like, it doesn't shot, but nothing like what it probably deserved. Yeah. It's like, because, like, I do show th those two. And I know we did it, because quite literally, they can't well, do... Well, yeah, you, you, yeah, we can't do where we're at without having all three. And it's like, hmm. Huh. I mean, all three are visibly floating there. Yeah. I don't know. Just a weird glitch, maybe. Maybe part of the weird update to the combat. Okay. I am going to put it that... Uh, 15 attempts. 15 Is attempts. From now or from where we started tonight? From now. Okay. Uh, and by that, I'm saying, like, 15 attempts, I'm going to ask you guys, should I swap to easier combat? So. I know what the initial well, result is going to be, which is going to be, no, you the idiot, don't. Do it like it's intended. But I'm still going to bring it up to you guys at 15 attempts. You're going to wait for our mice to turn to mush. Yes. 
point where we just so that we're more likely to take it already. <laughs> Like Eddie on Elden Ring before he called him the cavalry. Yeah. Uh, Eric said, I should have treated it like millennia. People do tons of tries on bosses like that. And he said, maybe someday I'll feel like uh, up to giving it another go, but it's been too long. <sighs> okay. What's funny is, and I don't think, I don't, I think this is already up on our VOD channel, but we haven't talked about it really yet, is after we cut Wednesday nights, uh, it, we went like two more goes and got it. So Millennia was defeated Wednesday nights, off stream. But it's in the VODs. Yeah, it's pretty much... Mm -hmm. already <laughs> it's pretty much it was and, like yeah, it's all phase one and then phase two i just melted her mm -hmm. isn't that all row the row i mean kind of like that's what happened to me with doom gaze uh, when we were doing six because yeah. i could never get doom gaze to show up on stream but then I managed to get, I managed to keep getting him off stream when I'm just doing like random bullshit. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna record and we'll and we'll just run this as an intro to the next episode. Uh, uh, on the last episode of Dragon Ball Z style thing. Sorta. Of. Literally came on stream and said, hey, hello everyone. Uh, so we will be playing live in a minute. But first, here's what happened uh, after stream last time. Or off stream between times. And then just literally ran the clip. And then uh, me and Asher talked over the clip. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Also, this might be a controversial hot take. Um, but I noticed last time you didn't heal. You might want to consider healing. Well, that's because I've also got the critical attack thing going. Not the... I'm actually just using these as kind of training and stuff. To figure out the keen parry. Because, like, I feel like I have to do it halfway through the swing to get it right. Because it's, like, half the animation. That's why I said I was like, I was going to ask, not go like, immediately, we're going to swap to the easier combat system. It was more of like, have we improved enough to warrant, or have I just been futzing around this entire time? And so far the answer is futzing. Yeah, I've been more of do uh, dodge mechanic than parry mechanic, and I've always kind of had an issue with parry mechanics. Okay. Wait, why is... Okay. Yeah, I've got, I've got to be honest, I've always been better at dodge than parry myself. Because <sighs> parry, your timing has to be pretty fucking perfect. Dodge, you just want to be generally as far away from there as possible. Now I'm like, oh yeah, I can do that. Get the fuck out of dodge? Hell yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Uh, Eric said, I like dodging too, of course, but I feel more satisfied by a good parry. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, that makes sense to me because parry is definitely the more skillful of the two. Because it requires that split second timing. 
I'm just too much of a potato to actually land that timing. Ah, uh, he said that's why I'm loving the new redirection skill in, in Rise. Ah. It sounds like Rise kind of reincorporated Generations guild styles again, but not to, like, the crazy degree that Generations did. Which is good. I liked guild styles. I thought it was fun. I mean, like, I, I played generally, like... I think I just generally played plain guild style. Not uh What were the, what were they again? Aerial Aerial Guild uh There was the technical one though, the counterattack one. The counter which for some odd reason my brain is going muteki <laughs> the entire time, but it's like, that's definitely not the name of it. Uh, Eric said he liked Valor. I yeah, think Valor, Valor was the... The counterattack one. Uh, he said, and before they added that in the recent one, Adept. I think Adept was the, like counter one I think mm. no I think Adept was the one that gave you more skill slots ah because there was guild the supposedly balanced one there was Ariel the one that gave you a flip uh, Eric said Valor was Bushido parry attacks while sheathing yeah okay that's what I thought Valor was the, the counter attack one and then Adept was the when the game Adept was the fancy one. leaping dodge roll if you time it right. <laughs> Is what Eric said. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while, so. No, we will not be doing any Monster Hunter on stream because quite literally. Uh... Because uh <laughs> just it's the same, it's like, oh, let's see how many fights. said Ariel was obviously jumping off the monster and Guild was the basic full move set old school. Yeah. And then he said, I forget what the other style was with the reduced move set but extra skill slots. Okay, so I have five. I thought there were four. Yeah, I mean, one of them was the one that gave you an extra skill slot. Uh, 
Uh, he said, oh, and alchemy? The weird support one with the barrel you can shake. Okay! <laughs> Cheesy boy! <laughs> Hey, sometimes she uses what it takes to get it done. Oh boy. No, stop that! Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. That's fun. Okay, we got farther. We got farther. I'm a lot further. Yeah. Huh. Uh, Eric said you're doing better than he was at this. Uh, he, uh, he thinks he was at least. Okay, I think I'm going to during that phase fucking just <laughs> with magic because getting close is going to be fucking stupid. Yeah, especially if he's gonna keep doing the uh, screen divides. Star pattern bullshit. The extreme void zones uh, are very reminiscent of fourteen for me. <laughs> don't stand in the purple. I... Yeah, don't stand in the purple. Uh, Eric said he really struggled to get any damage during the second phase. Uh, I feel like the second phase is this weird one where it's like you kind of want to do parry to prevent damage to you, but at the same time, it's like high risk, high reward. Well, yeah, that's parry's always high risk, high reward. Yeah, but it's like. my guy. Oh, right over here. I feel once they do Berserk, it's like, I... Because I know in this phase, they dodge the magic bullets. I mean, for all I know, you could just shotgun the second phase, and we're done. I doubt it. Maybe. Uh, Eric posits, what if the second phase took more damage from the stick or something? That, hmm, that would go with Zelda stuff, because Zelda and the weird shenanigans people do with, uh, certain things, like, Ganon is always, it, like, the bug net from, uh, Link to the Past, or the fishing rod from Twilight Princess. I forget what Wind Waker's was?
But it's like they like they always insert something really weird that you can do during the final boss to make it super easy. Earlier when I was talking about final boss gimmicks, that's the one I was trying to remember was the bug net, and I couldn't remember it, and, that, and that's when I went with prayer. <laughs> but prayer is also a valid answer for that. Yeah, I think that's the one he was talking about with Twilight Princess Eric. I uh, said to strike Ganondorf for the fishing rod in one of them. Yeah, that, uh, with fishing rod, that was Twilight Princess. Oh no, I didn't get my 20 back. Whoops. Really, how are we doing? We're almost back to how much uh -huh. I had. We're also halfway there. Whoa! Halfway there! Because we're up to eight deaths uh, since you said 15. Yeah. Well, you didn't think I wasn't going to count, right? No, you were. I figured you were going to count. I just wanted to incorporate <laughs> the count into stuff. It's like. living in a freaking biome that's full of dinosaurs. There's a T-Rex literally in my camp. Why is it that the most dangerous animals that I'm currently fighting are the freaking Compsac Nessuses? Um... Copy? Is really? Yeah. Copy because every once in a while, favorite? they get pissed off, and then they swarm me, and then if they get close, my guys go down in literal seconds. Uh, oh yeah, no, I against a swarm of them, hell yeah. You just drowned in their fucking toxic spit. Uh, in this, uh, to answer your question, Eric, uh, there is an achievement that kind of is spoiled to me, where you get the gun before you get the sword. Um. So, it's possible that you could quite literally just go through the entire game with. The stick. Actually, I want to know if that it's kind of a weird hint that they shoved into one picture. Uh, he, he, he added to that there's so much in this game you could do from the beginning of the game, from the very beginning, you didn't know you could do. Yeah. Well, yeah, because there were, like, even, like, one of the very first things you could do in the game is solve a golden cross puzzle, but you have no idea what the hell the golden cross is. Because if I remember it, you start literally at one of the doors. Stop. Damn, this research bot is literally a game changer. Ow, stop that. Uh, Eric said he mostly wants to see if you can actually get the second sword if you didn't get the first one. Oh! Uh, I, we did actually see the second sword. I just, it said, like, you already have one. Clearly, 
this fox has never played an RPG. Okay, there we go. I think, I think that I think that's literally what he means. Is if you can, if you don't get the first sword, then when you get to that second sword, if you can take that one instead. Probably. <laughs> You're like, ooh, sword. Pterodons might be spacecraft magnets. That's the second time in a row they've almost been crushed by falling space debris. That's just because they're higher up than everybody else. <laughs> Okay, magic is... It's semi-useful, except that you're doing a lot of shots that aren't hitting. Oh. Oh, 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 yes! Yes! Sorry for peeking the mic, everybody. Mm -hmm. No phase three! No phase three! Thank you! Phase three. No! <laughs> Nine? You first. Nine deaths? Uh, no, eight deaths. Grr. I already started counting. No, Eric, uh, I Eric, am just... You're better than him, you win. Eric, I don't get pissed when I die. I just... I either start giving up or I get more and more determined. I am weirdly... Both the, uh, what is it? Anti-hero... Super casual tryhard? No, I was gonna say anti-hero and the anime sh uh, shonen protagonist at the same time. Oh, oh, no! 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 Welcome to the normal ending. Yeah, normal ending. Oh, no! <laughs> Eric said he doesn't get as pissed as he used to, but he still has a temper sometimes. Yeah, <sighs> yeah congratulations. Welcome to the normal ending. That's what you get when you choose violence. That is exactly correct, Eric. Violence can only beget violence. Thank you, Andrew Shoulders, for this game. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Regami. Good God, you are so amazing at the audio. Uh, especially Lifeform and Janice Kwan. On the music. Eric Billingsley, I can hate your guts because you are a goddamn genius. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if there is an actual level 2 sword. I know there's a second sword. Uh, Eric said he's about halfway through getting the other ending need to solve the mountain door puzzle. Oh, which we did. Uh, we didn't get one yeah. puzzle because... Uh, also, Mako... Love your design, uh, like, illustrations. They are chef's kiss. Uh, all the quality assurance people, you actually did a good job versus another game that we mentioned Wednesday. <laughs> uh, technical music support. Ooh. Music mastering. Ah, mastering. Okay, mastering. Uh, eco partners. Uh, and the Indie Fund. Made by these people. Special thanks to all these people. Halifax Game Collective. Random, I think, Japanese character. Uh, yeah, I think so. Pop Tart oh, Stegosaurus! 
Tucker, Pecco, and Stephanie Martone, fine. Mom and Dad, Mom and Dad. Playtesting. Will Wheaton. <laughs> Will Wheaton. Uh, all these Will playtesters. That! God, only an hour into the stream? Holy feck. Well, I guess we're gonna have to transition to something else to fill out the rest of the stream, huh? Maybe. Uh. 20 cent. Uh, console porting by 20 century. Uh, 22nd century toys. This probably got added when they put the game on Switch and PS4. Probably. Thank you for playing. So they wouldn't have been in, they wouldn't have been included in if we had beaten it previously. Yeah. Um. But yeah, congratulations! You're the new heir, and everything that comes with it. Achievement unlocked. Game over. Uh. Well, in this case, I am going to put it as retry. I was going to save the secret ending for, you know, like, if this took me, like, two hours. Apparently it did not. So. Oh. I was so actually... We're gonna, try and, we're gonna try and get the true ending? We're gonna get the try and true ending, because we are missing one page. And... Yep, and all we gotta do is find it. And that is actually dealing with getting to it this, the fairy spring. So, uh, we have gotten seven out of the twenty. From what uh, Fates has brought up, I only need ten. Yep. And I do know that there is a puzzle here that I believe is part of it. And it's annoying because it was one that was mentioned in the very first stream. Let me clear it out real quick. Wait, it was mentioned in the very first trim? Yes. Because... I was standing by it while we were doing a few things, but here it is. The House of the Hero Chimes? The Chimes is a direction... is a golden cross puzzle. Oh, God. Yes. Uh, they... This is also part of the patch that they had to update for consoles, is because of the fact that they had to actually increase the movements in order for it to be easily seen on consoles. Oh. But... The wind chime is a directional puzzle. It is a Holy Cross puzzle. Um, admittedly, I'm not going to do it because it looks way too chaotic. But, uh... I mean, you, got, you gotta do three. I gotta do three. Uh, there is one that I have, uh, that I know of that we have access to. I just want a bit better understanding of, like, how to read it. I mean, theoretically, we have access, we should have access to all 13. Yeah, we d technically do. We just have to find where they are. Or... Uh, Eric said he saw his composite image of the broken Holy Cross pedestal. <laughs> uh... Which is something we talked about doing that we never did. The broken... Actually making a composite of the, of the broken pedestal. Broken pedestal. Oh, right. 
That was the one I was going to go like, uh, let's... Uh... Because we definitely need... Uh, that's probably one of them. But the one I was thinking of was this puzzle. This boy. Which, I'm trying to figure out how... Oh, that one. Yeah. Um... So let's see what we have. We have one, two... One of the... Uh, we still have the ones in East Forest... Uh, the two in East Forest. One in West Garden, one in the Quarry, and the rest. I have still yet to figure out how you read this language. Because supposedly... It's... Suppo An alphabet? It's a type of alphabet. Hmm. And, because, like, I've, I, I watched a couple of people who have done this, and they're like, oh, yeah, such and such can read it, and they, they read the manual, and they were doing all these weird puzzles. No problem. And I'm like, wait, what? So, that tells Is me... It's English-based, because, well, obviously... Okay, then just look for the most common figure to appear, and then that's E. And then you build from there. Because if it's an English-based alphabet, and they don't do any weird jank, then the easiest way to try to translate it brute force is... Uh, find out which symbol is the one that appears the most often, and that one's the well, letter E, because the letter E is the symbol that appears most in the English language. Here's the thing. I think that's a compass rose on page 34. You're talking about the symbol in the bottom left corner? Yeah. I could be dead wrong, but... Uh, to get the last page, you just need ten. Yeah. To open the chest where the last page is, you just need ten. Yeah, you just... To get... Uh, pay, uh, page... Page... Fifty four and fifty five, you just need ten. Um... And we kind of... God, the door in the mountain ones I hate. Uh, so... God, that was a nightmare. Yeah. So... I am going to authorize... Okay, let's go to East Forest. Oh, yeah, we figured out what the dip in the water secret was. Uh, just be warned, I'm not going to do it on stream because, like, at least not yet until we get the full page. But, um, since we did get, quite literally, the cover of the book, that's the secret page that you're supposed to dip in water. Uh. I mean, le like, let's stand in water for like 30 seconds. Or 60. Well, I think it also had to be in a very specific spot, though, didn't it? Maybe? Millie, like, you have to stand in water that's maybe waist-deep. But, okay.
Okay, getting back to this one. This one definitely feels like a fairy fountain. Um, there's also the fairy... Uh, did we actually complete the fairy fountain one? I think we did. Might have to be water deep enough for it to slow down, what he said. Waist deep. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out, given the way that this thing... kind of just turns... Like, how are we supposed to orient it? I don't think that's how it works. Wait a... Hmm. Okay. Uh, I I'm gonna point this out really weirdly, but... Notice, like, I've been paying attention to the wall that I'd say is north. I just noticed that, like, certain things change when you look at them from northeast. And I feel like that's part of the... Like, clearing out the symbolism... That, or I'm just... My pattern-seeking brain is going, Ooh, pretty. You're pretty. Uh. Speaking of pattern-seeking brains, hmm. it took me a while on that thing Eddie posted, but I finally saw it, and then I couldn't unsee it. The flower Wait, thing? Wait, you didn't see it immediately? I didn't see it immediately. Wow. I haven't seen it yet, but then again, like, from the sounds of it, uh, MPX has said it's either my brain is not corrupted enough, or apparently my brain is just not seeing the pattern. I saw it immediately, because I guess I'm an idiot. <laughs> I had to, my brain had to cook on it for a day, but... <laughs> it's like... Heck, I didn't realize it was a flower. <laughs> I thought it was like, oh, it's AI-generated art. Of course. What else could it be? Uh. Okay, well, let's go find a different pattern. Well, this one. This is different. Which one? No, I'm sorry. The game I'm playing. Oh. The one that I'm testing to annoy Eddie with on Halloween. Oh, 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 okay. The, no, no, go ahead. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Stop glaring as Susie mentioned that because I know what's going on. <laughs> well, it's more of like, oh, this is different. Also, mailbox! Mailbox. Great, now it, okay. Let's 
double check to make sure. Okay, yeah, I did get this one. Because we figured out, this one was, I think, one of the ones that told me this was the break. of the eastern forest is not gotten. So if I can at least get one of them, I'll be good. I just need to figure out. Best garden. Eastern vault. Down here. So it's also possible to wish it around the fence in the graveyard. So he's wondering if you can get the crown early as a result, though you might not be able to enter the place alive. And yeah, that was my understanding is that you can't enter the place alive because the um because of the actual the swamp water or whatever. Uh the bridge to get to it is actually out, I believe. Putting that back on. Okay, this is Eastern Forest. Where would a pattern... Uh, which one are you going after right now? One of the Eastern Forest ones. Well, I mean, which numbers? Which train numbers? Okay, so let me get it back up. Uh, it could either be 8 or 20. Or 18 or 10. Uh, 8 is one of the eastern forests, so it sounds like 8 or 20 then. Yeah, so... Eight. I'm trying to find out where they are first, so I can find them. Okay, well, hmm.
Hmm, no. I don't think that's a path, because, like, I'm looking at the grass right now, and I don't see an easy way that would do that. Okay, not here? It's not actively here? So I have information, but you haven't authorized it yet, so... Okay, authorized. Okay, so you're even being here is a bad idea right now. Cuz one of them only appears at night and the other one is the broken obelisk. Broken obelisk? Yeah, you know, the pieces. Okay. The... Um so in this case, I can swap it tonight. Yeah, you just have to go back to the old house and sleep. Okay, and it sounds like the night one may be easier to do. Probably, considering you haven't gone around photoshopping the obelisk back together. Yeah. I figured that number 20 was the obelisk. And you figured correctly. Time to go take a nap. I wonder if I could still talk to I mean, Debbie. I can give you more information, but that's just too much information. Too much information so far. I mean, if we don't get... Okay. Because, like... House. Bed. Uh... Nap time. And Aw, all the ghosts are gone. Not the ghosty ghosts. Uh probably not all of them. Okay, so, but I was in the right area, technically. Uh, so, basically you start uh, in the East Forest where you first, the way, the way you first got in there. Okay. Which, weirdly enough, I could actually do that. Uh, there is a teleport near there. Provider, you remember which one it is. Yeah. It's the one that's, like, just by itself. Boop. Okay. And let's go talk to the air statue, because apparently that's what they are. So we can't call them mama. Also, brief break for reasons. For medicinal purposes. Yes. I'd like to live, people. 
I'm gonna be right back after this. I don't know, that sounds awfully terribly boring. Living sounds terribly boring. If I can be like Adam Smasher, I will take that risk. 90% electronics. Uh, Eric has po uh, joined the conversation with Living is Nice. <laughs> I, I, I'm i glad that somebody else ad uh, agrees with my sentiment. Okay, so this is the area we want to do this in. Now... see here. Oh, that's some goopy goo. That is some horrible goopy goo that tells me not to go that way. But can I? Can I actually pop over this direction? Whoop. Also, one of the updates mentioned... <laughs> Oh, hey! There's Ghosty Goo here. Holocross! Ah, uh, Eric has an interesting philosophical, uh, philosophical uh, thought on it. Cookies are preferable to no cookies. Cookies require living. Therefore, living is preferable to not living, arguably. <laughs> I mean... Okay. Logic. Yeah, I, I feel I feel like it's suitably chastened with that level of logic. I will agree. Yes, cookies. Okay. Okay, that person mentioned Holy Cross. I'm not seeing it. Yes, I'm taking in great big vistas trying to figure out, it's like, is it over here? Oh, Jesus. Heavy snipers. Okay, let's see. Nope, that's just that. So... brings back to the hero's grave for, you know, this, but... Okay, so something tells me that the the one guy going holy cross is definitely 
Uh, it's a hint, but it's not the actual. It's not actually what you're looking for. Okay. There's the slime hint. <laughs> There's our broken door. Isometric views go into every crevice that you can. Okay. Okay, so we are in the Eastern Forest. Just... Mm. Trying to look at stuff that just seems weird or out of place here. I mean, other than uh, Goopa La Goopa Goop here.
No, nope, that's the bell tower. That is not Eastern. Is that where we entered the forest from initially? Yes. The first time? Was yeah. from the bell tower? Was from the bell tower. Okay. So basically we come from here and it's supposed to be something around this area. Yeah, in fact you've probably already gone too far. Uh, the hint is the next hint is that your crown is needed for this. Okay. Okay, so this is at the bottom of the bell tower. This is... Are they suggesting that I have to go into the bell tower? From there, uh, from there, fast travel to the East Forest and go back to where you enter the East Forest for the very first time. Okay. So... Um, before it gets too much later, I'm going to go get some dinner, so I will say farewell to you guys for right now. All right. All right. Have a good night. I might jump back on if I can get this done quickly, but no promises. Later. Take care. Okay. Because the guy that's, like, telling us Holy Cross is by that entrance. Oh! Wait, he's... no, 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 go back to him. Okay. He's doing a dance for you. Oh, he's dance! Ah, oh, jump up. Okay. Talk. Holy Cross. So, up. Down. Up. Down. Left. Right. <laughs> Left. Right. Down. Left. Up. Right. Yep. B A start. Okay. Up, 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 down, 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 up, down, left, right, left, right. Nope, 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 you already screwed up. It's oh. not up, up, down, down. Okay. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, down, left, up, right. Yep. There we go. Congratulations, you got fairy number eight. Okay. Cross. I didn't realize you was dancing before, or I would have <laughs> not led you astray. Yeah, I was like, what is it? It's like, okay, he mentions the Holy Cross, and then he just starts doing a dance. I'm like, uh, okay, that's weird. But he's also technically new, so I wasn't paying too much attention. And then it's like, wait a minute. No other ghost is here. And he's doing a dance. And he's dancing. And as soon as you mentioned, like, the, uh... Oh, no! Oh, no! Choo, up, choo, down, choo. up, down, up, down, choo, choo, choo. 
We are not. What have I ever lost at dancing? God, Space Channel 5. I've never played you, but dear God, no. Uh, Eric, actually, if I recall correctly, Eric's the one who introduced me to Space Channel 5. <laughs> oh, God. I've seen Space Channel 5. I haven't played it. So, uh, we have... I've gotten, uh, 17, but I'm missing 16 for West Garden. All right, Fairy 16. Um, no, that'd be 17, because I believe 18 is the other one, so 17. 17. Okay, yeah, 16 wouldn't make sense, because 16 is the fountain. Oh, the one that we were sitting at? For quite a while. Uh, the one, the one that used to have a page in the center. Oh, wait, that that's a. Mm -hmm. Let's do that one because, like, that's technically close, but uh, that's closer. Then, can it be done at night, or is it has, uh, or does it have to be done at a specific? Uh, time it doesn't night? seem to matter. Okay, nighttime it is. Did you just Mario's song? Mm, not really. I think you just Mario. No, I, I I swear I heard. I, I did boop, boop. Maybe my brain was filling in some extra notes. You, your brain was definitely filling in extra notes, so. Okay, cool. Then it's my fault, then. Oh, hey. Uh, apparently, the ghosties are still here. Some ghosts don't want to hang out with us. Yay! Oh, okay, so I think so. Count the tiles. And that's an ordinal. Okay, so one is down, two is west. I think three is uh three okay. Two is west, three is west, four is down, five is up, and then I think six is east. So and seven is down. Yes. Okay. So down. Ah. Pfft. Okay. Down. There we go. It was like that candle right, puzzle we saw. Mm-hmm. We go, go little buddy, bye bye. And ding. So that's five on one side and four on the other. By the way, so the true ending requires the last page and doing uh, doing that. But there's a secret ending with twenty. So that might be what you were thinking, Eric. Probably. Uh, so there's like, oh, so it's like some games where it's like, get it, doing Half the bare minimum. You, uh, the good ending. Half, uh, zero, uh, zero to nine will get you um, the strife ending. Uh, at ten plus will get you uh, the good ending, as long as you then go get the all the all the pages. 
Yeah. Uh, but then there's a secret ending, and I don't know much about that. Okay, so basically, let's try and get the good ending, because it sounds like it's... So you want 17? Uh, yeah, let's do 17, because it seems to be access uh, closest to accessible. Okay, pull up the book. Look at the map of West Garden. Okay. Okay, West Garden. Waiting for you to... Okay, there it is. Uh, um, bottom left corner, see that arrow? Ah! I think I have to Go do that... Go to that arrow. Okay, I think I have to do that during the day, by the way. Uh, uh I mean, it doesn't specify, but maybe. Uh, I, I'll try right now. Uh, oh, yeah, you needed the crown, uh, you needed the crown to get across, and then it's another, uh, it's another count the spade, count the shapes puzzle. I mean, you can just, you know, change it to day if you're not sure. Well, I'm going, uh, I am doing it this way. Oh, hey, I, I can't get down from here. I'm sick. <laughs> Oops. How's I get for trying to... I was going to be silly and trying to sing, and then I get a coughing fit. That's what I get. Okay, I guess I'll have to teleport there. No, wait, there, there's got to be a way I can do that without teleporting. I mean, does there? Does there got to be a way? There should be. A, well, the teleport goes to an isolated island. So. Oh. Well, then, yeah, there's got to be another option. I forgot about you down here. Whoa! Give me a moment to uh, equip some uh, stinky poo gas oh. mask. Ash up. Big nasty area. Uh, I don't necessarily need that. Oh no, that's still bad. That is still yeah. Poo -poo. No, that was that was still rough. That was still a little rough. That was still poo poo. Because I know you can. Uh, I know we can get to it. Put that back. I don't know, maybe, maybe you aren't supposed to navigate at night. Maybe you are supposed to only go it during the day. Okay, well, let's go pop. Uh... I'm going to save first. Because after that little um, foray into quite literally um, hor uh, just, uh, chemical goo, goop, okay. 
Okay. I mean, technically we could just do the wind chime one, but I feel like that's more of a secret treasure than a... Um, I think that one is... I, I, I'm i not sure. I think it is a secret treasure, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Because, like, to me, like, the fact that it's, like, it's... It's a harder one that you have to pay very, very, very close attention to. The reason why I was thinking, like... Are, hey, you, saying that, are you saying that the water fountain isn't? No, I'm not saying that the water fountain isn't. I'm just saying that it's like, uh... The wind chime feels more like you kind of have to sit there multiple times to have it written down. So, let's see here. So, fountain! Trying to find the best way to that corner, and this seems to be the best way. No. 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 What, you didn't want to be eaten? I just find it funny that these guys are like... Hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, no, it's the flowers. So... Yep. West, down, east, west, up, uh, north, south. Yep. That should get me the ten fairies required. Yep, which means now you should be able to go to the fairy fountain and get your page. Okay. Trying to remember where the fairy fountain is. Oh, wait, no, now I remember. I was gonna say, do you really need me to look that up for you? No, it's just like my brain was going. Your brain, brain was temporarily full of fuck? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, we should get, be good with this from here. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Yeah. Secret gathering place. Which, we did the puzzle in that one to get that fairy, I believe. And that one was giving me a lot of trouble.
Okay. Do, 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 do. And it's just sitting right there. Excellent. Page. Chief and Unlocked, thank you for playing. Aww. Oh! That's how it works. What? A, B, C. <coughs> so basically, um, you combine th uh, you combine the letters, and so it's like uh, that second uh, as it shows right there. That's sword, which is S, uh, which I believe is like. Jesus. Wait. So each of the pictographs is the is a word, but each of the words it has all the has all the letters kind of built into it. Yeah. Oh Jesus. I saw that. That is a nightmare. Oh hey, look! There's a hint to I believe the golden path. I'm trying to figure out... Are you saying that because part of test three is gold? Yeah. Okay, so basically we've gotten this. Okay. Souls... Re I like how it's like souls returned. I thought these were fairies. You're returning the souls of the fairies. <laughs> so, we're still going to keep the secret ending a secret because, well, quite literally. But we're going to at least do the good ending. Yeah. We're going to we're going to go to the good place. The goo boys. Settle down here for a birth moment. Huh. <sighs> so by completing the manual and getting the ten fairies, something should should happen when we go to the boss. Yep. Something different should happen when you get to the heir's room. Let's see. I've actually collected more than what I started with at the beginning of this stream. Eh, it happens. <coughs> Sorry, yeah. everybody. No, you're not. And... Oh. No sword this time. And yes, I'm intentionally moving very, very slowly. Oh, that's you doing that? That's me it's doing like that. Cut <laughs> I am trying to pad this out. Prolong. Prolong. 
Zor I was saying, it's like... Oh, then teleport. Zorp? No, 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 no. Oh god, the air's gonna eat you. Am I being knighted? Shared the wisdom. And now their souls at peace. Yep. I'm kind of glad I did the bad ending first because it's like. Yeah, In a weird sense, I actually have to correct myself now, because now I'm looking at this as, like, siblings, because of, like, you ruined my game manual, and now that it's, like, the younger sibling is, like, here's the complete, it's, like, it here's back, I've put it back together kind of thing now. <laughs> so it's no longer mama, it's, like, brother or sister. Oh, hey, tea cakes. And they're actually sitting in each place now. So maybe it is Mama, but... So I looked up the, I looked up the lore uh -huh. previously, when we were looking up everything previously, <laughs> and... Sorry. So what, what it actually is, and, and I kind of hinted at it as we were going through the bad ending. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> when we were going through the bad ending, I kind of hinted at that. Uh, but essentially what it is, is that it's a, um... It's a never-ending loop. Uh, it was one of those, and when you defeat, you become. Yeah. That was someone who had previously defeated their predecessor and became. So literally, you're breaking the cycle. You set uh, them and yourself and your your own future free from the whatever curse that, that was. Yeah. Um, Rather than just, just killing them to release them, and then you take up the mantle, and now you've broken the cycle. So it's not necessarily clear if they're actually related to you and what I was seeing, but they're definitely your predecessor. Yeah, as stated, the heir. And it, it's kind yeah. of implied that it's like, well, who's the heir? It's like, is it you? Is it the person you're trying to defeat? They um, were the heir. You became, you're, you're by virtue of being the hero, you were the heir to the heir. Yeah. Um, uh, as such, like, I'm kind of glad we actually did complete this. Uh, I, I'm sorry that some people are like, oh, you, you needed help for the last, like, it's because I'm a fucking dumbass. Well, and also we were trying to do it tonight, not necessarily just sort of stretch it out for the next, like, five weeks. Yeah, and I wanted to get it done because, to be honest, like, I wanted it completed just so that it's like, it's another thing in our book and it just doesn't disappear and then it's like, oh, I have to start all over again. <laughs> And then get even and worse. It frees, up this, it frees up our time slot for uh, something else. Yep. Uh, as stated, this clears out. Uh, I, I've stated like I will only have three things running at a time. Uh, this clears up one of those slots because the the two other ones are continuation of Soul Hackers or continuation of Live Alive or Live Alive or Rive Rive. However you want to put that. Live alive. Live a live. Live a evil. <laughs> evil lives. Proper. The end.
And the only option I get is New Game Plus. Copy and save and carry. Well, yeah, because now you've gotten the proper game. Yep. So, slap that new, uh, new Game Plus in there. And now that means... Wow, that's actually... So it's said most items carry over. Uh, well, I am missing... You have all your buffs. Yep. Uh, I am missing my, uh, pocket bomb, uh, pocket bombs. You're missing your crown. Missing my crown. I've got my lantern, my shield, and all of my weapons. You have as much glim as you had when we finished. Yeah. And you still have that one out of three shard. And I have the completed manual. So... Are you are you gonna try and see if you can go directly back? Cause I don't think you can go directly back. Okay, uh, I am missing. Uh, I am definitely missing the heroes boosts as well. So, obviously, I may have to go back and. Just using my little tiny thing. Oh, hey. so you're missing your magic. You're missing your magic gauge, even though you have magic weapon. Oh, there it is. Never mind. <laughs> I wonder if there's certain things replaced in New Game Plus, because like this has, I think, the stick in it. Already have one. That's what happened when we tried to pick up the sword. So. Um, one thing I've heard is that supposedly there is a code that allows us to change the cipher into whatever, and I'm like, Ugh. Admittedly, like, I could see why somebody would get the bad ending and then do New Game Plus instead. Uh, mostly because, uh, mostly to basically just, uh, you know, give me the key, but, yeah, screw that. I want to see what the old man has. Are you going to go visit Gramps? I'm going to visit Gramps, see if he's... Like, if he carries anything different. Or if it's just what he carried at Endgame. Oh! Okay, Gramps! Yeah, I'll buy that! Gimme, gimme. Oh. <laughs> I mean, sure. Okay. Especially for 300, that's worth... D that's another... <laughs> Like, okay, well. Nope, now, uh, apparently he's back to the way he was. So, I think, and I do mean think. That everything kind of reset. Reset, which means that technically, like, those, um... I forget what they're called. All your shards, all your coins, all your stuff 
are going to be available once again. Yeah. This is a coin. This is a bottle shard. Bottle shard. Although that's interesting, I just realized oh. their charge didn't restore. The no, uh, I haven't gotten to an area that had the turret. That was always kind of like the tuning. Oh, I... oh, that one was always a grapple hook. Okay. That one was always the tuning. Uh, was a tuning fork. And since we know all the shortcuts... <laughs> yep. Let's open this door. Especially since I kind of fudged it on stream. Speed run! Huh. I'm trying to remember what was behind that door. Oh! Uh, all the fairies are gone, too. Oh, so all the fairies have to be collected again. Yes. So, if people are wondering why we're going... Quotations into overtime. We're actually just showing differences. Nah, we're not really going into overtime because it's Saturday night. Yeah. And oh, tell me this works. I was trying to find one of these items to use. Something that would be pretty damn cool see here, it probably will keep the item count. Uh, well, item cost. But, I'm wondering if this also does what, uh, what every other Souls game does, which is New Game Plus makes things, quotations, tougher. Uh, yes it does. I keep... mean, so far started, so okay. far standard enemies I haven't gotten any, uh, tougher. Yeah. Uh, so yes, it does keep the cost. I mean, they could just keep the enemies the same. But make the, uh, bosses the tougher? The bosses tougher? Yeah. Oh, hey. Whip. <laughs> oh, looky! <laughs> Got another bottle. So, it might be that there was, like, just enough shards in a game to get enough. But, but like, then when you go into overtime, you have... You go from enough to... Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Sealed forever. Oh, right, I have to ring the bell. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, well, let's go quotations ring that bell. Oh, yeah, the bell towers. The bell towers. <laughs> oh, wait, before we do that.
Had to. Well, of course you did. Bomb Chad. So, by getting the good ending, I have now officially unlocked it for myself. For going like, okay, I'm good. Chibi Peppers. So you're not going to go back and get the secret for yourself? Uh, that, uh, I'm probably going to play uh, like go through this game and then do everything to unlock stuff. Key. Unlock. Okay. Cross. Secret treasure. Mr. Mayor, who I don't know. I think it's actually mentioned that Mr. Mayor is supposed to be a reference to one of their older games that they were working on. They're really big fans of Powerpuff Girls. Hmm. Oh! He wasn't there before! Wait, is that a dark side? That, that's a... That's a corrupted guy. Yeah, a shadow hero. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, definitely a new game plus change. All right. Okay, so yes, there are changes. You choose up, but there was a chest down. Because I'm going to go this way. Zoop. I wonder if they're... Okay. Chest, what do you give me? Potion. That's 1,200. knowing that that thing is filled with like I'm guessing these uh, like what's in those are like the souls of the people that failed or like could be the souls of the heirs that like succeeded and then just got more and more and more and more corrupted The ones that had su succeeded in the past and then were vanquished when it was their turn. Yeah. Also, we never really showed off the decoys. No, we never really did. Uh, I, I, I have seen somebody who used them. They're, I'll be honest, not something I like because they are what they say on the tin. They're decoys. You you pop them out and a, a, basically a kind of doofball... Uh, kind of pops They'll out. They'll distract an enemy for a few seconds while they uh, while they take one or two hits for you. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, should we at least get one bell down? It's up to you. This is your show, man. Okay, well, let's... Let's actually knock a bell down. Just to see if there's any other major differences. Which, so far, there's been one? Yeah, pretty much just the inclusion of the Corrupted Hero. Yeah, the Corrupted Hero at the chest that I think gives you your... sure what that chest gave me. Put that back. Put that back, you dumb boy. What? You put what? Huh? You're new. That's completely new. Yeah, he... Not hard. Not exactly a minion either, though. Like, a little bit minion plus. Okay, so new game plus adds enemies. Not necessarily increases health. Already have the burning sword. So, okay, so if we have, have a tablet, it just kind of goes, okay, you have one. Not like we can stack it. Imagine, though. Dear God, I, that'd be weird to do it with a fucking one-hit wonder. You stack two of those, and literally even bosses is just uh, rock, paper, scissors. Good. It's not rock, paper, scissors. It'd be more like, uh, well, um... Who's they hit you first? and you die, or you hit them and they die. It, exactly. It, it's quite literally a up. game of Bushido. God, that, that, that's a game I want to see if they'd ever want to redo, which is Bushido Blade. I doubt Square would even touch it again. Well, there is Hellish Quark, you know. Really? Yes. That somebody's attempt at doing Bushido Blade? Well, it's not Bushido Blade. It's more like uh, Saber Fighting. Mostly. Okay. But the idea is meant to be historically accurate versus, you know, uh, <laughs> let's beat each other up and shoot fireballs. Because I think Hellish Court does have a much more, like, fighting game version of it. Like, rule set, so you can actually, you know, beat each other up. Be essentially, uh... Well, like a fighting game. Yeah. Versus a sim. Oh, wait. I missed my teleport already. Oh, hey, that... Okay, that just stays open. Or what was in that chest?
Okay. Uh, Barry. Do, 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 this way. Whoa! That's kind of a lot of you boys. They came from this way. Okay. I like how I'm remembering most of this because, like, I was just here. And another Pritchard. Yeah, only difference is last time you were here, you could teleport. I'm going to ask you if you guys feel lucky. No. <laughs> that was interesting. He's technically the first boss, but remember, he's not yeah, no, he was more of a mini-boss, that's fair. And we got another one. How many do I have now? 73 and a quarter. Am I actually glitching the interface? Because, like, it's, it's kind of offset. You might be glitching the interface. That means with enough runs of this, you could literally just have, like, the entire right side of the screen covered in potions. Uh, that'd be weird, but... Well, depending on how they wrap. Yeah. If they wrap. Imagine it doesn't have a wrap programmed. Yeah, I was just going to say, imagine it doesn't have a wrap programmed. And it ends up all the way over to the other side of the screen. And then it still doesn't wrap and they're still, uh, they're, you're still adding them, but they aren't even visible. You have to drink like eight or, eight or nine potions before you start seeing them go down. Okay, so New Game Plus introduces more enemies. Uh, and some of them are from later areas. So. Well, plus we had the Skull Knight earlier that I don't know that I remember seeing him specifically. Uh, he's actually from the graveyard. I just didn't wake up. Oh, up. okay. Ow. 
jackass. Shortcut. Didn't know. Cool. Those are always good. Yeah. But uh, actually, wait. No, I take it back. I think we did know that because I remember that vaguely. Okay. Well, in this case, uh, I'd say we're actually pretty good. Um. For now, because quite literally, like, we've technically beaten the game. I'm now uh, I'm now in New Game Plus, but it's one of those situations where uh like we're uh we're pretty good. Uh this technically opens... We got the bad ending, we got the good ending, we just didn't get the special ending. We're going to leave the secret ending to those that want it because like I'm not one of those people who's like, I'm going to do 100%. It's more like, I think I'm good for now. I'll keep Tunic around. I may do a bit more, but that's going to be more of a personal thing rather than stream. Because I'll, at this point, Tunic is done. We've gotten the good, uh, we've gotten the bad ending. We've gotten the good ending. The secret ending will be mine. In mine alone. Um, and Millie, we now have quite literally the, uh, the final page, uh, the fairy page basically gave us the cipher, which, oh, uh, it's one of those, eh, that, that one's going to be oofed to try and, like, memorize that. So, I guess some people That's can... That's going to be a royal pain in the ass. Yeah. Um, because apparently... The uh the thing around tunic is the subtitle to the game. Which right now for us the subtitle is just <laughs> But uh also uh, from my perspective, I'd say Definitely. Um since it's now on multiple platforms, get it however you want to play the game, so Get it on Switch. Get it on Steam. Get it on Epic Game Store if you're really that hard. If you really hate Steam. Get a um, PS4. Get a PS4. They've added quotations easier combat. I'm not sure what that means. It could be just less. En en enemies take less hits to defeat. Um, or do less damage to you. Yeah. People are wondering because oh, extra op speed run because we have reduced and normal. We have speed run mode, which that's the time they took me to beat the game. Twenty hours, thirty-one minutes, thirty-eight seconds. I am not speed running this game now. I'd say that's easy to beat from here, but, you know, also, uh, also no, you're not going to do that. Well, speedrunning is an entirely different thing when you get down to it. Yeah. No that's stamina. True. Uh, this is accessibility. Uh, like, these are stuff that I think added. Uh, like, the no stamina and audio puzzle assistance. Um, those are... Uh, I know the de uh, audio puzzle got added on because quotations that was mentioned in the notes uh, for the update. There was also a mention that they made things quotations easier for the gauntlet to get the uh, the crown. And I'm yeah, like... Yeah, but we did it without the easier, so it's okay. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I, I did it. I did it. Um... Also, I found... That 
YouTube is being annoying to me. Oh boy. No oh, goody. But uh, in this case, uh, final thoughts from either of you. Uh, I only paid half attention, so it, the game would be entirely spoiled for me. So, uh, it looked fun. Okay. Um, I, I know from Fates that, uh, he's, like, he's not gonna pick this up, no matter what, because it's... It's, I mean, it's, it's entertaining, don't get me wrong. Yeah. And maybe with easy combat I might be able to do it, I don't know. But I also now know too much of it that it would be kind of wasted on me to play. Yeah. Um, in this case, uh, my, my final thoughts are great game. Definitely got me buzzing a little bit. And yes, I'm kind of one of those people that's like, if I get really stuck trying to get on the good ending, I will either push through because it's something that's like, there's got to be easier solutions. Or I will literally just bang a eh, brute force stuff. But uh, I do hope that they like the the com uh, that uh, the developers do more. Not necessarily in the same style of tunic, and by style I mean like this puzzle, Dark Soulsy thing. Um, it's great. I mean, like just. Figuring stuff out and then treating everything as if you just were like six again to pick the, to play a game. All that where it's like you can recognize some of the words but not all of them. And going like, okay, I recognize that. Uh, maybe I maybe I do this. Um. Well, this sounds really strange when you ended up considering that we did have an old Commodore sixty four. <laughs> and to even start up the game, we had to actually uh, input the correct uh, command prompt. Also, hello, Panya. Uh, you're you're popping in at the very end of the stream, by the way. Um, as for like, like yeah, we we. Me and MPX grew up on a Commodore 64. So, uh, like, hitting the, like, load this, and then, like, lo it, like to load the list, and then it, it would load the full list, and we may only see, like, three of the files that were on there. Well, the exact command, I'm pretty sure, is, like, load space six, comma, one. Yeah. I don't actually know what that means. <laughs> I mean, like, it's but been so long, but yeah. Then it was like, uh, we actually, I can't remember whether we had to tell it to run the EXE or, I think we did. I think it was like, run file, load, it's like, load file this, run file that. I forget. Yeah, well. Um... I don't think it was EXE, because that's more of, like, a Windows thing than Commodore. Uh, I still think they had executables, but I'm not sure, certain. Yeah. Like, it, not all the files were executables. I know that much. Yeah. Um, you have to understand, I was doing this when I was, like, three years old. Yeah. Well, considering that, remember... Just more of, like, copy-paste than actual reading and understanding. Well, remember, I also somehow figured out how to open up a tartan program on a 386, and then use it to make a tartan. <laughs> Which... Mom was weirded out, but then, like, can... can it, like, can you write down what you do, and then it's like, okay, I'll do this, and then write down the patterns. And apparently, some of those tartans were really impressive. Not that they saw the light of day after that, because, well, sadly that computer died, because A, it was a 386, and B, um, Y2K happened. It was not prepped for that. But, um, next time if we're doing another game, uh, it may be Soul Hackers 2, 
which that one I, after playing more of it on my own time, I really don't need a lot of direction on that one because, well, there are stuff in the game that allows me to just, like, handle it. But that's because it's a more modern JRPG. Um, Live Alive. Most of what I recall from when I played the fan translation for the SNES game still applies. They've made certain things a bit easier, condensed them down. So, li Live Alive is not necessarily going to impede if I... Uh, the only thing that I'm more worried about that is... Having the desk space to set up the, um... Uh, the desk space needed for that. But, uh, that will be later. Uh, as such, uh, I think we've talked long enough. Um... But, uh, I think we're going to be doing another Wednesday stream, which that should be... Uh, Elden Ring, then Friday with Chrono Cross, next Saturday, if we do something, it may be Soul Hackers, it may be Live Alive, it may be a third, a new third game. I, I'm gonna... Or we might be back to 14, because I think it was just this Saturday yeah. that was uh, out of communication. Or it could be just a break, because, well, something came up for all our schedules. But... Also possible. Uh, as such, uh, thanks for joining everybody. Um, if you liked what you saw, most of these streams do get uh, archived on uh, our YouTube channel. If you like, uh, but if you wanna, if you liked what you heard when we were talking about weird stuff in the game or like at the end, uh, we do have podcasts. They are found on all major platforms, so Google, Apple, Spotify. Um, we're on all major platforms, so, uh, like social media, so Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, if you like what you heard or want to support us, the best way is, of course, word of mouth. Uh, if you prefer a much more direct method, we do have the sub points here. Or the Patreon, which I'm going to bug out of Baron slash Eddie to see if there's any people on there. Because I'm not even sure if he's touched in a while. Um, or our Redbubble store, which has absolutely nothing on it, I think, except for maybe, like, logo shirts. But, uh, outside of that, uh, thanks everybody for joining, and we hope you have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Night.